Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So today, I wanted to have a discussion about why Neapolitan's return was actually excellent, because each time I watch this, I really enjoy it, and I just love the scene when she comes in and fights Cinder. I think it's a great scene to throw her back into the series, and I want to really explain why it is. So sit back, relax, I hope you all enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. I have been waiting for this moment for Neo to return, and I love Neo's character. I think she is fantastic. And the way they brought her back in, I think, was actually a good way to set it up. From the moment that Cinder is finding out where Team Ruby has gone off to since they're heading to Atlas, we then hear the umbrella and we hear Neo land. And I've got to say, the way that they did this, I really loved it. Neo is standing up there, you see her holding the umbrella, and she's got that look on her face, that confident look on her face. And here's what I'm going to say. Starting off, the design of the new Maya model, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted with that model and the old Poser models, because I just like Neo. I like every version of Neo, and it's hard for me to say which one I like the best. It's a conflict for me. But I think that it looks good, and with the green eyeliner, it's kind of funny because it's like a nod to ice cream because you can have mint ice cream. It's kind of funny to me. Now, looking at Neo's fighting style, now this is one thing I really want to talk about. Her fighting style. It's unique. Each character has their own unique fighting style, and Neo's is certainly something interesting. I mean, how many characters do you see fight with an umbrella? And I really like it that they really captured Neo style and that was good it was good to see that they were able to recapture what she was able to do all the way back from volume 2 and volume 3 but this time Neo was actually trying as to where when she fought Yang when she fought Ruby it just seemed like child's play to her so this is a stronger opponent and I really love that they even had the slow motion moments because if you go back to even volume 2 when Yang fights Neo there are some slow motion moments in the fight and they really capture that well. And I really enjoy how they have Neo kind of levitating with her umbrella now. It's kind of like a nod back to Volume 3 after she flew away like Mary Poppins. I really enjoyed that they've kind of allowed Neo to do this now with her umbrella. And I think it's just wonderful to see Neo retain her style and have a few new tricks. And the illusions, now that she can use them as offense, I think that's really great too. Now, the next thing I want to talk about here is I want to talk about personality because this was something I also worried about. They kept Neo's personality. She has that smug look, and I love it. Smug Neo is just great. I love Smug Neo. But I really like that they were actually able to keep this and keep her personality because she is definitely tactical on the battlefield, and she's proven that. And we even see that as she did with Yang, she sized up Cinder in this fight a little bit, trying to see where her power ranged, and I like that. I like seeing that we still have that side of Neo too. Not only do we have the fighting capabilities, but we also have the personality. The reason why I worried about this was because of how some characters were treated in the previous two volumes before Volume 6. Some characters were either left out of the spotlight, or their characteristics were just completely gone almost it was almost like you could replace certain characters it's like ruby for example ruby didn't feel like ruby at all in volumes four or five especially five and it really hurt the character now as to where it seemed like with neo since neo has so many fans they really had to try hard here with the fighting style the personality trying to get it all right and they definitely did i think they did that well and neo finally having a theme which it's about Torchwick and about how when she lost Roman, she basically lost the one thing in her life. Eh, get it? But, you know, it was the one thing that was something that just held her together and was the joy in her life. And then she lost the closest person to her. And I really like that that's what the song's about. Because as I stated before previously, Neo still had relevance to the plot. And that was because Torchwick died and she would want revenge. And... 
Not only was Neo treated well here, but so was Cinder, because Cinder actually proved that she's very good with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, we've seen that one time before, but not as much as this, and that was the fight with Amber back in Volume 3 in the flashback. That was when we did see that Cinder was pretty good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and now here, it really gets to be flushed out more. So Cinder herself even got good nods within this fight to her own character. And what I also loved was the hat nod to Roman Torchwick that Neo is actually wearing. I like that she's wearing this hat that resembles his. It shows how important Roman was to Neo, and I really enjoy that. Not only that, but another thing that goes back to Neo's character that I wanted to bring up too was the fact that, if you remember back in Volume 2, when Neo was about to kill Yang, Raven came in, and Neo knew the power gap between herself and Raven, and she fled, and then here we are with the situation very similar to that when she's fighting Cinder. Cinder uses her maiden powers, and Neo is afraid. This is where she then knows yet again that she is outmatched. So she knows her strengths, and she knows when she's outmatched even. And I like that, because Neo knew yet again when she was outmatched. And I appreciate that, because they really kept the intelligence to her character as well. I like this. Not only that, but Cinder did remark that Neo has gotten stronger. Neo can now use her semblance of illusions offensively, and that's really good. This means that Neo is a lot stronger, and she is already wise, so you put that wisdom with strength, that's actually a terrifying combo that is to come with Neo, I think, in the future. And another thing I want to say to end it off, I love the joke that they had about Cinder wanting to discuss with Neo about how to kill Ruby. Then when Cinder says, let's talk, Neo just points to her mouth like, hey, I can't talk. I do love that. And I think this fight was a lot better than the one from Chapter 1 of Volume 6. I feel like it was faster. The animation and choreography just felt great. And you can tell they really tried to do a very good job with throwing Neo back into the series. And I'll be straight up with you all. I was actually terrified because... After what happened with Volume 5 and the Battle of Haven and all that, I was very scared that they would mess up Neo's style. I was afraid of that. I was afraid of possibly even messing up her own character. But it doesn't seem that way. It seems that they really stuck true to her, and I think Joel Mann definitely deserves his animation director spot. I think he definitely earned this. And I hope that Joel Mann and everybody working in the animation department over there keep working and keep doing good stuff like this. But anyways, let me know what you think down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, hit the video with a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And share this with your friends if you found this informative or useful. Well, anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.